Good afternoon. I see there is no presentation here still. If somebody can help me out, this will be good. Otherwise, I'm okay with the ex tempo. Well, I see energy or electricity is an interesting phenomena. Like I see that as a, as a business of uh, supply chain. It has been, the interesting part of it, that, that is, it has been produced and uh, used at the same time. So, so far, the electricity has been a largest supply chain in the world. Produced, transmitted, or, or even wasted. And we have seen how dramatically the efficiencies have been changed uh, when, with the data storage, the internet speeds have been increased. And we also seen the food storage, how food storage has, been, has, has changed the, the way that the food has been looked at so far. So similarly, if energy storage can be made part of this energy, energy supply chain, dramatic efficiencies can be brought out. We are talking about existing situation, and now we are talking about, I don't know whether to call it as ideality or non-ideality. We are going to uh, include the non-ideality of renewable energy on top of that. So as such, in simplest form, the energy remains as uh, supply chain. And in the most complicated form, it still remains as supply chain. So on, on top of that, if you are adding these non-idealities of, uh, non non of called uh, renewable energies, then the storage makes more sense. Why? Because the renewables, with all that advantages that they are bringing into the business, at the same time, there are inefficiencies and disadvantages also come up along with that. Few of them is intermittency, definitely, and then the difference between the, the energy being generated and the demand, time shifting, and it is location specific. So energy, there is no doubt that energy storage will definitely play its role, and there are many forms of energy storage. A lot of technologies are there right from uh, mechanical to the electrical and electrochemical, batteries have been a significant form of energy storage so far. And beyond renewable energy integration, frequency adjustment of utility, utility grids and uh, the optimization of rene renewable energy grids, these are the areas where energy storage can be used. And if you look at the global trends, definitely we have to draw a parallel from the Germany where the control reserve in Germany is uh, controlled by uh, transmission system operators. They have something called uh, primary control, secondary control, and uh, tertiary control. And primary control, they use it for uh, within 30 seconds of the requirement. Primary control will come out, and then it will last for uh, five to 15 minutes. And then if, if the longevity and requirement is more, then they, they call the secondary control. And for the blackouts, yes, definitely, the tertiary control is there. Primary control, they have uh, somewhere on the level at the blocks of one megawatt, and secondary controls to the tune of five megawatt, and uh, definitely tertiary control will have you know, more uh, energy requirements, so it will be more than five megawatt level. And in, and in Germany also, so far, conventionally, the energy storage has been in terms of uh, hydro, pumped hydro and gas, but uh, recently they have come up with uh, policies facilitating the distributed energy storage, and they are encouraging the public to have battery-based storage systems at the residential levels. And they have already installed uh, almost 19.72 uh, megawatts of battery-based storage systems, and total control, total uh, demand for the primary control in Germany is over 500 megawatt. Even in China, they are going with uh, uh, energy storage as the prime motive, because they also added uh, significantly high amounts of uh, renewables in the transmission lines. And there are many data, much data is available, how, uh, how much India needs and where are the potentials uh, available in India to have energy storage. Well, uh, coming to us, we have to start somewhere. Like, and uh, we have been leading the way uh, in terms of having a lithium ion battery storage because we cannot scale up the, the technology at a, I mean, like, having set up a demand of 175 gigawatts of renewables, then questioning ourselves how to do and what to do, whether it is really possible or not. So we have to start at, start somewhere and then do some pilot projects, proto models right now, and then the energy demands comes, energy storage demands comes. Yeah, uh, we have to be ready with uh, these things. So 
we we have been in fact to start with we have converted our corporate office building in gurgaon completely we have eliminated dg and we have just included uh, solar and lithium ion battery as our uh, uh, in fact secondary source of uh, power and way forward yes we have to encourage public to have uh, to 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 go for more of energy storage and then uh, similarly incentives for development of uh, operation of storage and then public policies and then uh, more more uh, importantly cooperation between energy segment and coherent regulations are required so that it can be taken forward so without taking another prompt thank you very much thank you and thank you